Joining us now is Dr. Ashish Jha, Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. Dr. Jha, thank you for joining us this morning. And there's so much excitement around the Pfizer vaccine this week, but it looks like Moderna, Moderna's vaccine could be authorized this week as well. You've looked at the data so far. How hopeful are you? Yeah, good morning, Michael. Thanks for having me on. I am very hopeful. The, I have to tell you, every time I look at the data, every time I see new data, I am more and more impressed at both of these vaccines, uh, the efficacy as well as the safety profile. So uh, I'm pretty excited about where the Moderna vaccine is going to end up landing. We, even, we know more vaccines are in the pipeline, like AstraZeneca's, but that one's a lot different than the others. What do we know about how it works and its effectiveness? Yeah, there are several vaccines in the works, and the next two that are, we're probably going to hear about in January are AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson. They work totally differently. They don't use the mRNA. They uh, use a, a viral vector, but that's a pretty standard technology for vaccines. We just don't know how effective they're going to end up being. I'm hoping they'll be in the same 90-plus range, percent range, but we don't know yet. Yeah, we're both hoping for that. And there, there have been reported side effects with Pfizer and Moderna. Moderna. But do you have any concerns about those? I don't. You know, as you heard in the last report, um, they're temporary. They can last 24 hours. I, I'm also telling folks that after their second dose, uh, they may just want to take the, that next day off or at least be ready to take the next day off. And that's going to be important uh, just because people often feel feverish and a headache. But it lasts about 24 hours, occasionally up to 48. And then everybody gets better after that. What do we know about a person's ability to spread the virus once they have been given the vaccine? Yeah, this is the, the big question. And, you know, if you and I were talking two days ago, I would have said, I don't know. We don't know yet. But the data from yesterday in Moderna says that the vaccine seems to reduce that. Even one shot of the vaccine reduces that by about two thirds. Uh, we haven't seen the full data on what happens after two shots, but I'm pretty optimistic that it's going to end up reducing people's ability to spread the virus as well. And we don't have much data yet on children and the vaccine. So what do you recommend? Uh, what do parents need to know before you get your kids vaccinated? <laughs> Yeah, so most kids, again, right now are not going to be eligible because we just don't have enough vaccines. So, you know, I'm a dad. I've got three kids. And what I'm thinking about is uh, I want to get them all vaccinated, but I want to see a little bit of data from uh, children. And I also want to see recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics. So what I'm telling parents is hold tight. When children's turn comes up, we'll have a lot more data. We'll have guidance from the pediatricians, and then we can make some decisions based on that. All right, other parent, I'm listening to you, Doc. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Jha. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.